Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video guys I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your models so it fits for better performance and in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your scripts so um, you know you clean up your scripts when you're done with them and so your game uh, is just more optimized especially for mobile players so let's get right into the video. So what I have here is some models I've made. They don't look good because of the lighting. You know, this is just a starter place. But I have some models. And they, to some people, may or may not be optimized for users. See, I have a, a bush, rock, grass, mushroom, tree, and a firework. So the first tactic to optimize your stuff is I'm going to use the bush, for example. Okay, I, I scaled these things up so you could see them, but you know, this would be the actual size probably of the bush. And how would you optimize this bush? First thing is, is turning off cast shadow for things you don't need. Okay, now for the bush you may need it, but it's very small and cast shadow causes lag if there's too much of it. Right? So you need to make sure... Um, that you have cast shadow off for things that aren't really seen. Example, grass. Right, grass in your game, it's gonna be this small. Right, and when you have cast shadow on, it's it's really small. An average player's not really gonna see it if it's a full world and, you know, there's things around it and a player's not really gonna be looking at that. So when you have all these things with cast shadow on and and uh, everything else around it, it's gonna cause lag, especially for mobile players. So, for stuff like grass, turn cast shadow off. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys about is can collide. What is the issue with can collide, you guys might be asking? Well, when you have a detailed object, example, maybe this could be uh, very um, detailed, like a firework, when you collide with it, well, let me just select it. But when you co uh, collide with it, when the game first runs, it has to calculate where you can um, uh, like uh, touch it, like where the boundaries where you can interact with this. And so when you go to the collision group or um, collision fidelity, you can change it to box. But if it's on default, um, you actually have to, the game actually has to calculate where you can touch the model. So if I go to, um, um, hold on, let me find it real quick, guys. So when you go to selection style and you go to um, outline, uh, when you select it, as you can see, this is what the Roblox engine would have to calculate so it could determine what we would have to touch for it to be a collision and so it would calculate that and if we have the same thing for the tree same thing for everything here and you can infer like if it's something really really um detailed it's going to cause lag and when you have multiple of those parts it's going to cause even more lag so if there's something that um you can turn off like can collide Please do that for more detailed things and just stuff that the players not going to be colliding with. Um, same thing with can touch if you are not using it. If you are using like a, a tool, you need can touch and you need to pick it up. Um, keep can query on um, if you are using ray casting in your game. And that's like a scripting thing, right? If you are going to be using ray casting, shape, ca shape casting then keep that on but if you don't then just leave everything off if this is just a total background thing that you're not going to be using it's for decoration keep everything off and that is another tip to optimize your models all right now the last tip i have for you guys is in mesh parts and it's the render fidelity okay render fidelity basically when you look through that render fidelity there's an option for automatic performance and precise. So it would be set on automatic render fidelity, which means 
what this actually means is I'm going to scale this up so you can see it. Um, whoops. But when you scale it up, notice when I get farther and closer, nothing happens, right? That That's normal. But when we select all of them and turn render fidelity to performance, what's going to happen when you back farther away from it? is it's going to become lower detail. That is what render fidelity does. Again, I'm going to get these bushes and scale it up and have performance turned off for right now. Automatic, nothing happens when you go away from it. But when you turn it to performance, you back farther away from it, it gets a lower detail. This is really important. Again, for stuff like background and even for grass, where I put my grass. If it's just around and you have cast shadow off, can collide off, and you have um, render fidelity to performance, that is the most optimized you can get with a mesh. Um, it's really important because background stuff, you want that render fidelity because uh, to performance. So... The farther away you are from it, um, the lower, delty, lower detail it becomes, and it helps with the performance of your game. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button. If, um, yeah, if I did help you in any way, or if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.